This is the second uh, video of the series of for antics Fluxbox. In the first video, we got how to install Tint2 and fix all the buttons so that it would be more prettier than the other default Fluxbox. And now we will try to do a put a dock here so that we can uh, make it also more accessible and more productive than the dull nature that is right now. So first of all, we go to the terminal. We need to install the, the one that uh, is used by MX Linux, which is Plank. Plank is around, uh, it's a small, uh, small file. As it finishes, let me enter some system to the task manager we can go from here run blank enter and this is blank how, how it looks like the problem with that with the antics is if you look at blank here it is using around 36 megabyte, which is a mortal sin for antics. Using 36 megabyte is very big. We have to close it and we'll do another alternative. You can use it by yourself, but for me, I will, I will give another alternative. So we'll have to install wbar and wbar dash config. W bar is warlock bar. If you notice, it is very 91.8 kilobyte, which is very light. But there is something here you need to notice. LXDE dash icon dash theme. This is a recommended package. We need to install this theme. If you don't install it, you, you might have some problems with how it looks like. Because also we'll have to change it because this theme is, is not good enough. Later on, you can remove it. But let us install the, th the theme also. Install LXDE dash icon theme. So we finished. Let me run. It's unpacking. Let me run here. W bar. I think without the theme it will work. Oh, it's on this side. Let me remove Conky first. App killer, remove Conky. So we have this one. Let's go. And the preferences, we put them on the left. Reload, close. Still unpacking this LXD icon theme. Anyway, if you look at the at the theme, it is uh, it is not uh, that pleasant. You can keep it. It, it has uh, low pixels uh, inside, but we will we will change it. Looking now here, it is this is the configuration. Two things you have to note about this W bar. The first thing is be careful when you press the reload button especially in antics because sometimes when you press the reload button here it might crash so if you have any programs here and you press the reload it will directly log out this is a bug so be careful for it the other thing that you might notice is there is here enable taskbar avoid using it and the reload be careful when you do it now I put the reload to get it to here. It did not crash, but sometimes it crashes. So this will, you have to bear in mind. So now we have uh, these. Let us customize them. So here the config. The, uh, it's good. For Firefox, you can, let's say, I don't have Firefox, but if you want to, if you downloaded it, it's better to use icons. The one that we, we did before, 48, apps, Fire, Firefox, open, accept, 
I will not press reload. Email doesn't have an email. They have CMonkey. So for the image viewer, they use Mirage. So here, oh, let me write here. It is Mirage. And for the icon, I will use icon Papyrus Antix 48 apps Mirage R Mirage. Okay, open. Accept. For Audacious, they don't use Audacious, they use X XMMS. It is like uh, Win App, the one, the famous uh, window manager. And the logo, I like the logo for Dead Beef. So we can use Dead Beef. Oh, we have to go icons. Papyrus Antics. Instead of the XMMS. Dead beef. Okay, this is a nice logo. Leaf pad. Also, we we will change it. It has leaf pad, icons, papyrus, apps, leaf pad, file manager. Let us use here. The file manager is ZFM. Here, icons, papyrus. Symbol apps, which one we are using uh, for the file manager? Let's use Tonar THU. This is the same one, and for the terminal, we will use Rockstorm for antics, and for the icons, I'll use icons here Papyrus 48. Apps Terminal is enough. Open, accept, and reload. That's okay, good. So, these are basically uh, it. Then uh, we can do something here for the effects. I the zoom factor, I prefer to put it around 1.2. The bar alpha is to make it transparent I can use one use one and for the bar image if you want you can use a black a black background here the, this background is different so you can use the background that you want you can use the background the same as tint 2 let's say you put tint 2 this color you can use the same color and you put it as a bar image let me reload it's okay so we have this one. Let me remove these from here. So this is basically the panel. There's one thing we need to add because in MX Linux they had uh, some uh, application launcher. So we need to install Rofi. Let me close this one. sudo apt install Rofi yes and it's done so here what we can do is we we'll come back here we will add a button we we'll call it uh, application launcher the command is rofi dash show dran dash show dash icons okay and the icon let us we can use any icon that you want icons user share icons papyrus antics 48 apps let's say application something like that any application app launcher is good we have app launcher here accept so it is here let me put it up if you want and reload it's okay good so if I press this one you will have this color like a zebra color 
if you want to let's say uh, search for XMMS so you can enter it and you get it if you don't like the Rofi theme here if you don't like the Rofi theme you will go to you will go here and uh, you press Rofi tab double tab so it gives you this one Rofi theme selector Rofi dash th tab Rofi theme and you can choose whichever theme or you can download another theme if you know how to download the one that I I like which is a simple one is Monokai so after you pick it if you notice up it says alt a to accept so I press alt a and now when I press it it went out so here let's go back monokai press it that's the color and then you press alt a alt a alt a alt a so hopefully it worked so that's that's it you press it and you can search for whatever you want One last thing is that we need the W bar to be loaded on startup. So we have to go to control center, desktop here, edit Fluxbox settings. We go to startup, go down, tint to, we add the end, we put W bar, we save it, close here, close here. We exit, log out, and we log in again. So that's it. So now we have the tint two and we have the W bar. We'll do more uh, customization. If you like uh, these kinds of videos, kindly hit like and subscribe so that I will do more videos about that. The next video might uh, consider uh, Conky uh, with Lua scripts or Conky alternatives. So stay tuned. Thank you.